This is a video about a circuit breaker panel box enclosure that I had a problem with. This box has been removed from the wall and anything I'm going to show you and tell you about this box is something is done with no power connections to it. This is not something you would want to be doing with a box that was already wired into the electrical system. Anything you're doing electrically you should get an electrician to help you with especially the stuff I'm going to talk about here. This box was produced in 1993 by Westinghouse. Westinghouse has since sold that business and is now conducted by Eaton. This is what a circuit record panel box looks like inside and this particular model is a B20 3040CT. It's a 200 amp uh, service which is typical for households. There are some slots in the box that have been removed when it was being serviced. We're going to go inside here and show you the problem that I had. There are two breakers. There are 50 amp breakers at the top. These service the um, air conditioning units for the house. I'm going to remove those. There's another 30 amp breaker here beside it. I think it's 30 or 25. Remove it. And this exposes the bus bar which is the silver bar here. And the silver bar has tabs on it that click into the circuit breakers. This tab here you'll see looks like it's corroded. Uh, it's actually burned from having made poor contact with the circuit breaker. Here's what the circuit breaker looks like. What happened was that I was trying to isolate a uh, wiring circuit for a lamp. I had to throw off the breakers. When I turned them back on there was a popping or crackling sound that came from the breakers up on this tab on the bus bar. At the time I didn't know what was causing it, but I called Home Depot. They said to just push down on the breakers to make a better contact. I did that and the noise stopped. I thought problem solved and I was wrong. About an hour later I could smell plastic burning. That's this section here that's been scorched. And the breakers were hot to the touch up here. In fact, very warm. So I called an electrician and he looked at this and said the thing to do was to replace the entire uh, breaker box. And that cost me about $900. I contacted Eaton. They say this is not a problem they've had uh, any type of regular complaint about. If you have run into this type of problem, if it's particularly for a Westinghouse box around 1993, I would like it if you would put a comment with this video.